Kosher Dills, craziest warp Tour story. We were in Camden, New Jersey earlier this month, and we played a bunk show. I don't think it was so tight. Um, my mom came that day, she brought some food, everything was going cool. I walk into the production office, and Lisa says, I'm like, hey, you know, I'd like to perform at one of the barbecues. She's like, all right, I'll see what I could do. Ten minutes later, I'm going back out, we're all sitting down eating dinner at the merch table, and everyone's on the radio saying, Kosher deals to production. Everyone run, 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 find him, find him. It happens to be that Riff Raff wasn't able to make it to the stage that day in the amphitheater at Camden, so they had me fill in. So there's about 5,000 people there waiting for Riff Raff, and the place is completely packed. I didn't know when Riff Raff got this many fans until that day. And I was like, hey, okay, I got good news, and I got bad news. Okay, the bad news is Riff Raff's not coming. Good news is, I'm a Jewish rapper from New Jersey. I'm going to fill in with a laptop. And the uh, craziest thing was that I played. He wasn't able to make the show. Flex came, performed. And then after Flex came, MC Lars came. And then Emerson got in on the drums, who's Riff Raff's drummer. And I didn't get booed. And everyone, the entire staff and everybody watched. And it was like the talk of the town for the next 24 hours until the next craziest warp Tour story happened and uh, it was old news but it was pretty epic to go from playing from 50 people to 5,000 people in one day.